When tragedy strikes a community, often they come together. And in Moncton, New Brunswick, that is very evident tonight. This week, that city was terrorized when a killer went on a rampage against the RCMP. Three Mounties were killed, and today many are still trying to grasp why someone would go after those whose job it is to protect. Global National's Mike Armstrong is in Moncton tonight. Mike? Well, Robin, the streets of Moncton were reopened yesterday, but it was by no means a normal day. Schools were closed, buses weren't running, some businesses were closed. Today, it's very much a normal day, except for all the messages. They are all over town. Signs of appreciation, messages of thank you for all to see, but directed specifically at police. They went right into the line of fire. That can't be easy to face that. This is the new reality for officers. They are literally heroes. This group was cheered entering a restaurant today for a meal that ended up being free. The restaurant was in the lockdown zone this week. Some staff members were so overwhelmed at this sight, they went into the back to cry. Who was yeah. crying? You were crying. <laughs> they're, all, they're all criers, so we'll all have a couple tears, I'm sure, over the next little while. Yeah, yeah, it was overwhelming for sure. It's almost hard for police to pay for a meal right now. It's free pizza at this restaurant today. And for these two officers, it came with flowers from a stranger. Just yeah. out of the kindness of her heart, brought us flowers. Thanking us. It was, it was beautiful and it was heartfelt and it was great. The sounds of children are returning to the streets of Pinehurst today. Kids holding a bike rally again with that same message. I think it was brave of them to come and risk their lives for us. Just blocks away from those children, the investigation continues. Police combing through a field. The suspect's trailer home is being watched, as is the site of one of the shootings. The broken glass still in the street. The shock doesn't appear to be close to wearing off, especially for people who were stuck in their homes and scared. But life goes on. A charity bike rally for prostate cancer was almost canceled today. The police escort wasn't available. The force is too busy. But it was led by off-duty police, men and women who lost friends this week. The only reason why we're, we're going ahead with this this morning on the part of the law enforcement motorcycle group is that we have to start the healing somewhere. The memorial outside the RCMP Kodiak detachment continues to grow to the point some of it had to be moved. It was blocking too much of the sidewalk. It has been the site of touching moment after touching moment, some planned, some not. More than 1,500 people turned out last night for a vigil. It ended with people lining up and waiting for a hug and a chance to say thank you directly. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Moncton.